Hello, in this case uh, we have a canting of a second molar because uh, this patient lost uh, the first molar and so we have a tipping of the um, uh, 4-7 and uh, we have a tipping also of 3-7 okay so we uh, bonded uh, just now uh, a fiberglass uh, very high uh, so in order to don't create inflammation of the gingiva, now we have to polish a little bit more the, the composite we used. And also we bonded only two brackets on the second, uh, on the uh, first bicuspid here, first bicuspid here, we have a fiber until the second bicuspid. And now we need a cantilever or a, a kind of spring, so a piece of wire, like we used here with a vertical slot. And in this vertical slot, we have uh, uh, a TMA 17 by 25 activated uh, with this loop for mesialization of the molar and also with a V-band here, V-band here in order to upright molar. So we want a bodily movement in a situation like this. Usually we want a bodily movement uh, and in order to have a bodily movement, we need a single force here activating uh, with a cinch back the wire and we need uh, also v-band in order to move mesially also the the root finally we will have with the maximum all the arch anchorage um, um, a bodily movement mesial bodily movement of the molar because we are going to close the space after we will move also the molar because now we need maximum anchorage we didn't use uh, a mini screw anchorage here because the patient she cannot do mini screw for some reasons okay now we have to do the same sectional also from this side and um, uh, so with this sectional uh, we need to do uh, mesialization of the molar and uprighting so a mesial um, a mesial movement also of the root in order to have bodily movement so We start with the wire. This is a 17 by 25 TMA wire, okay? And we do a, a loop exactly here. So, um, we can model with a small loop. The loop has to be very small because we are uh, back very close to the gingiva. Okay, so we are modeling something like this. Okay, and then Okay And uh, the vertical part that has to be Included in the vertical slot because we have a bracket with the vertical and horizontal horizontal slot Okay the pre-activation of this kind of spring is uh, this one, like a V, like a V band, like a sixth geometry, in order to upright uh, the molar, so to move mesially the root, and then when we include inside the bracket here and we cinch back here, so, so we 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 are, we are activating the single force. So we have a single force and the moment. So we have a crown, for, crown force and the V-band uh, allow us to have a bodily movement because it moves the root mesially. Okay, so let's get back to the patient. The, the readout, so we go in the molar tube and we see that some uprighting of the molar is activated. Okay, and uh, also we see from the readout also the activation that we have from the bracket, from the anterior bracket, okay? And this is the posterior activation. So this is a, a central V-band, like a sixth geometry. So everything, uh, all the vertical forces should be raised. Now we go in this tube, okay? And we, go, we can go a little bit upper here okay we can go distally 
open please. We do a bend back. Okay. A bend back here and the measure bending here. Here. So we have activation of the single force mesializing the crown of the molar and also the uprighting of the molar with a V band that can uh, allow us to use a, fifth, a sixth geometry in order to don't have vertical and horizontal effects. But vertical effects, sorry. The horizontal effect of a rotation of the molar as the force moves backly to the center of resistance is a uh, uh, Open please is a desired force because the molar is uh, uh, rotated. So we can derotate with uh, only by using this kind of force. Okay, so only by using a single force that can uh, pa that pass, passes backly to the center of resistance of the molar. This is the system we use it. Okay. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs>